backed up Navy team is out after its first victory over Duke since 1954. And Roger Staubach faces the middies with passes like this one to Pat Donnelly for 20 yards. That sets it up for Roger to slip around end and Navy is off and running. Duke puts on a tremendous bid. Scotty Glacken makes like a ballet dancer as he tries to get a pass away. Rushed by a convoy of Navy destroyers, he tosses far down the field to Stan Crisson. Navy interference makes the pass good, and Glacken and Crisson team up again for an 11-yard touchdown play. It's a wild second quarter that sees 36 points scored. Still the first half. The incomparable Staubach again, this time with a neat 40-yard advance as he teams with Neil Henderson. Nick Markoff is off right tackle for five yards and yet another Navy touchdown. Navy ends its first half scoring explosion as Dave Sugarud intercepts a Glacken pass and romps 36 yards. A win today would put Navy in a position to dominate the East, and that's something to cheer about. Navy winds up with a blaze of glory. Johnny Sy hits left tackle and is stopped with three yards. But hold your hats. Now keep your eye on number 48. That's Sy, and he breaks loose. Throw tackle this time, and he's off on a 93-yard romp, the longest run in Annapolis football history. When the dust settles and the cheers fade, it's Navy 38, Duke 25. <laughs> 